In the field of cosmology, we are trying to give a scientific answer to one of the first questions ever asked, which is, where do we come from? Um, how did the universe start? Uh, how did it evolve? Where does it go? Leiden University was founded in 1575. It is one of Europe's leading international research-intensive universities. The Leiden Institute of Physics is known for its top-level research. The master programs are characterized by their emphasis on internships and the freedom to create your own study path. The De Sitter Cosmology program aims to train young scientists in this exciting field of research. What we're trying to do here is very inspired by this picture. In this picture you see Einstein, uh, Ehrenfist and Lorentz, so three theoretical physicists, and two astronomers, Eddington and De Sitter. Eddington, who was uh, crucial in, in proving uh, Einstein's theory of relativity, and de Sitter, who worked closely with Einstein and was uh, produced some of the first uh, solutions with accelerating universes, uh, which of course is very relevant today. Einstein was a regular visitor in Leiden, and in those days it was very common for theoretical physicists and astronomers to exchange views and uh, work together to some extent. In the decades that followed, astronomy and particle physics drifted apart as particle physics got better observations, better measurements. They started understanding that in more detail, whereas astronomy went its own way with better observations. And so they lost track of developments in each of the subfields. A very important development is the discovery of the cosmic microwave background radiation, which is a relic radiation left over from the Big Bang. And this really is the, the start of uh, modern cosmology. I always say to my students that we cannot progress in isolation because our goal is to build a mathematical model of a physical phenomenon. A physical phenomenon is always infinitely more complex than any mathematical model. So if we want to decide what we skip and what we include in our model, we have to uh, understand the phenomenon, how it is observed first. The exciting thing of working in this field now is that we know almost for sure that something that we have never seen on the Earth in all our experiments plays an extremely important role in the universe. <laughs> we call it the era of maximum ignorance. As a student, if you come to light, and this is what you can look forward to. Uh, lots of interaction, lots of things to discover, and we will discover them together.